Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So in this video we will discuss about the GATE Environmental Science and Engineering paper and how to prepare for this paper because many students are having doubt and one thing is common that most of the students those who are preparing for the NET Environmental Science paper they are also preparing for this. So for those kind of candidates that will be very easier comparatively to the other candidates those who are not preparing for the NET Environmental Science paper. So without wasting much time let's get started. So first of all let us quickly wrap up the mark distribution in GATE. So the GATE is having 100 marks paper you know and if you don't know you can see here that 15 marks is given for the general aptitude section. So that will be the general aptitude out of your subject. That will be carrying 5 into 1 mark question. So 5 1 mark questions will be there and 5 2 marks questions will be there. Next coming to the subject paper where we are dealing with the environmental science and engineering. So it will consist of 84 marks. So it is not that it is I am telling this is given in the website of GATE. So you can go and check out there. Next is how the questions will be. The questions will be of two kind. Number one is MCQs. Number two is numerical answer types. So for MCQ type question there will be negative marking. How? Because for one mark question minus 0.25 will be deducted for every wrong answer and for two mark question that is one fourth will be 0.5 will be deducted. So this is the negative marking which is only for the MCQs type. But if you are attempting for the numerical answer type then there will be no negative marking. So isme aapko koi tension nahi lena hai. You can directly go and answer every numerical type question. So now let's see how to prepare and how to approach for this GATE environmental science and engineering paper. So as the term engineering is attached to here, so it will definitely benefit the engineering student because there is the math part. So maths is important but it is not that much that if you are not having math you can't qualify. You can qualify and we will see what is the three points for this approach. So ye jo teen point hai, pehla hai believe it is easier than net. Yes, ye net se easy is liye hai because in net exam we have to do many questions right. So we have to get more percentage to qualify for the net exam but here in GATE we have to look for the accuracy. Yes, if you are getting 30-40 questions or 30-40 marks correct then you are GATE qualified. It is not that I am telling it will be of good rank but you will qualify the GATE. So if you are comparing the net it is easier because in the sense we don't have to do all the questions or maximum question. We have to do less number of question with more accuracy. Next thing is focus on your strength. Why I am telling this because many of you are afraid because here there is the math section which is very very terrifying for most of you but you should not get afraid of maths because there are other sections also and maths is one of the part. So if your opening batsmen are not playing you can go with the middle order and also your bowler can win the matches. So don't think that maths is there and it is your weakness so you should focus on your strength. Next is third point is print the goal. So our goal is to qualify the gate and how we will qualify by studying the same syllabus which is given for the gate. So we should download the gate syllabus for any paper we are appearing that is ES we are talking now and we should print out that. So what will happen by printing is that you will get to know the syllabus in your in front of your eyes and every day if you are going to solve all the syllabus by point wise for example you can see here in general aptitude there are many sections given verbal aptitude, quantitative aptitude, analytical aptitude and special aptitude. So one by one if you are clearing this you can give circle. So you can encircle those things and one day if you are do gradually you will see many circles are there. So with the help of this circle the brain will send the signal that yes I am moving ahead step by step I am following all this part and I am completing this syllabus. So that will give the positive vibe. So in this way I am telling you to download this PDF of the syllabus and complete one by one and do circle. So next is this is the general aptitude part as I have discussed. So this is on your own hand I am not going to discuss about this and this is very important because you can get directly 15 marks because the questions are very easy. You can see in the syllabus they have given for the general aptitude in the bottom part they have also provided the sample questions. So you can download that otherwise I will put the link in the description. So the sample questions if you are solving it will be very helpful. Now coming to our subject. So the syllabus I will not read because if you are going to appear I hope you have already downloaded the syllabus. 
so i will tell you what are the common subjects related to net environmental science and gate environmental science and engineering and next thing i will be telling you what are easy for you so which thing you can do in less amount of time with less amount of efforts so starting with the mathematics so don't get afraid i am telling you these things are common in environmental science exam also for example age and values it has also come in the net exam so you can look for that next is skewness and kurtosis that is coming from the statistic part probability concepts basics bayes theorem which is also very simple next is t test f test chi square test all these hypothesis test you can go for that so i'm not reading all this because i'm just telling which is simple and which can be completed within less time let's move to the section 2 so section 2 mein aa jayega environmental chemistry so this is very important for the net paper also and in get where you can focus i'm telling you i have already highlighted first is radioactivity of element so radioactive of elements what you can do is you can get the questions from the half life of radioactive substances so these kind of numericals also are asked in the net exam i'll provide you the link for one of the radioactive numerical which we have done in our channel next is coming to the principles of water chemistry water quality parameters and their measurement so this thing that is do bod cod the basics you can also learn because it is very easy and less time consuming next coming to the solubility of gases in water that means the henry's law the raoult's law these things you should know coming to the redox reactions the reaction between the oxidation and reduction it is called as redox reaction combinedly so how to balance them and the questions can be asked how much moles is required for this reaction if this much mole is given for the particular amount so these things you can get next is coming to the inorganic and organic contaminants in water and their speciation so your speciation jo hai this is not related to the evolution speciation means actually how to know what kind of indicators what kind of inorganic and organic contaminants are present what are their characteristics for example if lead is present what kind of disease can cause if mercury pollution is there in water what kind of disease can be caused so these are the speciation so to know the organic and inorganic contaminants with their characteristic properties and the disease which can they cause next coming to the easier part that is sodium absorption ratio which we call sar so you can see the simple formula is there you should learn this because questions can be asked from this section also next is composition of the atmosphere how much amount of nitrogen is there carbon dioxide is there what are their effects how they are recycled all these things are composition of the atmosphere next coming to the important part that is smog and their formation and types of smog london smog los angeles smog next is the chemistry of ozone formation that is also important for the net environmental science paper and how in the stratosphere it is formed how in the troposphere it is formed where it is helpful where well it is not helpful so all these things comes under environmental chemistry coming to the section 3 in section 3 it is environmental microbiology so the simple and the connecting link i will telling you so the thing is role of microorganisms in wastewater treatment bioremediation and biogeochemical cycling that means you can see in nitrogen cycle is the very important one there rhizobium species are there anaerobic aerobic all types of microbes are helping to trap the nitrogen from the atmosphere and to give it to the plants so these things are important next is cell chemistry and cell biology so if you are giving this exam that means you are from the biology background so you should know about proteins their structure nucleic acid dna rna phosphate atgc all these concepts you should know structure of cell also is important so it is not that you should know that mitochondria is the powerhouse chloroplast is used for the photosynthesis but to know all their structure and function deeply next coming to the important process which is occurring in the plants that is phosphorylation glycolysis tca cycle electron transport chain and fermentation so fermentation also will be helpful for net exam and anaerobic respiration on all so you should know these things coming to the next part that is the specific growth rate and doubling time so questions can be asked this amount of time is required for a certain bacteria to double its uh, population so in this much of time what will be the population so their question are asked like this that can be also helpful it is important next coming to the pathogens and modes of transmission and indicator organism so indicator organism for example i will give you about the e coli which is the uh, organism which is the indicator organism coliform for the fecal contaminated water so that is important i am giving the example 
and what is the technique to quantify them and membrane filtration technique so these are coming under important topics for environmental microbiology coming to the section 4 water resources and environmental hydraulics so here you should know global water resources what is the percentage of fresh water saline water and all these things structure of water properties that means it is very much uh, it is called as the universal solvent it is dipolar all these things are their properties so you should know it is deeply water quality how to check the water quality parameters threats to the water resources how to conserve the water hydrological cycle it is very simple and you can go so this is important precipitation infiltration evaporate transpiration next is rain water harvesting and storage what are the components of rain water harvesting how it is stored and all these things are also easy geological formation as aquifers so you should know difference between aquifers aquitard aquiclude this is also for the net environmental science coming to the darcy's law which is one of the very important and easy numerical based on the hydraulics of water so you can go through that next coming to the section 5 section 5 is water and wastewater treatment management so here you should know the characteristic of eutrophic lake oligotropic lake thermal stratification that is the upper part is more temperature and the lower bottom layer of the lakes as having less temperature urethermal stenothermal organisms also you can read with, along with this next is river pollution oxygen sac curve which is important you should know how to treat wastewater through help of screening sedimentation coagulation technique what are the coagulants used why aluminium is used all these things next is point and non-point source of wastewater so what are the sources which are known as point wastewater source and what are non-point wastewater source how to treat them preliminary primary secondary and tertiary sewage treatment which is important so these things are the simple and easy thing which you can learn from section 5 let's move to the section 6 section 6 is air and noise pollution many of you will be having the favorite topic so structure of atmosphere how these sources of atmospheric pollution transport releases which kind of gases what are indoor air pollution radon is the indoor air pollution i'm giving the example so how to measure the air quality standards what will be the primary and secondary pollutants their difference next coming to the second part which is particulate pollutants uh, that is how to control them i have already discussed about cyclone separator fabric filter electrostatic precipitator its mechanism how it works you can check the link i will provide all this link which is related to our channel which we have already done in the description you can go and check those next coming to the noise pollution so noise pollution is also very easy you can you should know that what are the limits for the noise pollution by the cpcb how these are the, what are the sources what are the health effects what are the measurement and control methods used to control the noise pollution so these things are coming under air and noise pollution let's move to the second that is the section 7 so section 7 deals with solid and hazardous waste management so it is what are the rules and regulation for the solid waste management in india you should know that when it was incorporated all these things next is energy recovery process and landfilling so in landfilling what are the initial gases released what are the stages in landfilling what are the organisms used all these things hazardous waste management their treatment and disposal which waste are known as hazardous what are their characteristic features next coming to the biomedical waste so it is also very easy so you should know which color is segregated for different kinds of biomedical waste what are the treatment so that is waste management practices storage collection and transfer coming to the e-waste what are e-waste what are their source generation and how to tackle with them and what are their characteristic features let's move to the next slide here we will discuss about easy topics which you can do for section 8 and section 9 section 8 relates to the global and regional environmental issues so it is having the greenhouse gases global warming concept climate change urban heat islands acid rain and ozone also these are small small topic but many questions can be asked from this topic you should go through them next coming to the final unit that is environmental management and sustainable development here you should go with the iso series which iso deals with what which is related to life cycle assessment which is related to environmental auditing how to remember those number all these things you should remember next coming to the environmental law and policy when was the environmental protection act enacted in 1986 what are the laws under them how to deal with them what are the rules green tribunal act how it deals and what are the characteristic features of them coming to the renewable and non-renewable energy resources these are the easy things which you can deal no need to go for the complicated things 
sustainable development that means it is related to the brentland report 1987 agenda 21 what are the goals 17 goals which we discussed in the last video so these things are very simple which you can go as i have discussed here no need to go for all the syllabus because it will cause headache but you can go and focus on your strength and easy topic so where we can fetch marks and no need to go for difficult topics it will create tension that i will not be able to crack this and you will get demotivated and i will try to make some videos related to these topics so stay tuned for them and if you like this give a like share it with your friends and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now see you guys in our next video